What's up dudes, my name is Nick, welcome back for another music video reaction. Today, we're taking a look at the song from Halo titled OMG. And I don't really have anything to say as a uh, little bit of an intro kind of leading up to this, except for, I mean, it's Halo. So, uh, it's just new music. I mean, it's not specifically, oh, Halo, oh my god, Halo. But it's just new music. I'm super excited for new music. So, you know, of course, we're going to do what I do in every single video that I make here. And I'm gonna to listen to this song, I'm gonna give you guys my honest first impression, thoughts and opinions on it to let you know what I like about it and what I don't. So if you're interested in hearing more stuff like that, subscribe to the channel, cause I will absolutely be talking about other K-pop releases in the near and of course distant future. So with all that being said, let's get the song started. I just drew a blank right there. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this a little bit right now. This is good, I like this. I like this a lot. This song's got a little bit of um I don't know I don't know what the I don't know exactly what the genre is. It's um Well I guess it's like a little bit of older sounding like synth pop. You know, something that's kind of inspired or influenced from like the 80s or 90s or something like that or maybe a little i don't know i'll talk about it in specific more later specific because i got like a specific group that i'm thinking that illustrates the sound that i'm talking about This song is really good though, I like this. This chorus is actually really kind of... It's not like the, it's not the most addicting and the most memorable chorus ever, but you know, it does... It does plenty to... To be something that kind of sticks in the mind a little bit. Because this part right here is... Those couple of lines are, are absolutely the thing that is, is what kind of draws me into the chorus and gets me into, into it. Also, I have to say too, just, you know, that, that, that this, that music video right there, one location the entire time, that is, well, you know, obviously that's a budget, it's a cost cutting measure on the music video because, you know, you're going to have to pay a lot of expenses to go to multiple different scenes and set all that stuff up and, and other stuff like that. So, you know, just, just picking a spot on the top of a very, of a very tall building and then just getting creative with the camera shots and stuff like that and doing stuff like that is definitely, you know, really, really cool. Not to mention, of course, the music video is really just a focus on the choreography. So, you know, it, it just makes more sense, right, for it to be in a single location. So maybe it's not necessarily you know about saving money for the music video but it definitely is you know just at the very base level of it a music video meant to kind of show off the choreo more than anything else which i, I like i like watching the choreography because the choreography obviously ties into the music really really well and there is always something 
that or there should normally always be a really really strong connection between the visual of the choreography and the audio of the music that kind of just combine together to make something even more memorable than it would be if you were just watching the choreo alone or you were just listening to the music alone so that's kind of one of the things that i like about watching you know dance practice videos or performance music videos or just music videos in general that are very very choreo focused um that stuff is always really really cool so about this song specifically, I'm talking, I was saying that this song is reminding me of something that is kind of, that it's got a little teeny faintly underneath a lot of the music, um, you know, with the with the guitar in there, I think it's a guitar, and the and, and a little bit of synthesizer that's, that's playing in the background, faintly in the background of this song throughout the entire entirety of it, you know, it's reminded me a little bit of some older, you know, something that's, that's inspired or derived uh, a sound that is inspired by some like older, you know, like synth pop or maybe even a little bit of disco or something like that. I don't specifically know exactly, but one of the one of the groups or the performers or I don't specifically know if it's a group or a single person um, that has was kind of reminding me or that it was reminding me of is it was kind of sounding and feeling a little bit or a lot like you know back in the day when I was I was kind of listening to Chromio and other you know similar groups like that it feels a lot like that kind of you know synth pop and that kind of sound which is cool I like it. it's a which I guess now that I think about it since maybe there's a little bit of funk in there too you know which is which is cool it's definitely you know at, at the very surface level of the song it's a very much just a you know pop k-pop you know, dance sort of song, you know, there, there isn't necessarily anything that is amazingly, you know, noteworthy about the song for me personally. Um, you know, maybe there's something about the composition, but I don't have the education or the knowledge to pick that stuff apart. Um, so, you know, the, just, just generally speaking, you know, at the first, at first listen, you know, for the first little bit, there was like, yeah, the song's pretty good. You know, it's got a good beat. It's got a good groove. I'm, I'm in, you know, into the flow of this song, you know, it feels good to listen to. And then as we're listening to it more, I'm like, okay, dude, so I can pick up a little bit of, you know, an inch, a little bit of a different sort of sound in there that is not, you know, obvious, so to speak necessarily. And I'm, I'm really, really digging that because that little bit makes it a little bit more unique than it might have been otherwise if that if all that stuff wasn't included in the song. So that's something that's really, really cool. And then, you know, like I said, the, the choreo, or not the choreo, the, the chorus in comp, the, the chorus is also something that is pretty, you know, memorable. The melody of it is definitely something that is going to kind of stick, you know, to, to, a, to a certain extent. Um you know, as time goes on, I don't know necessarily if it's going to be, you know, if you ask me next week, if I'll be able to sing back the melody of the chorus to you or the, the you know, the, the, the key point of the chorus to you, but I definitely will be able to, you know, remember it when the song comes on. Like I will, the listening to the song will then bring that to the front of my mind. And then I will definitely remember the, the, the main point of the of the of the chorus when I when it comes to like singing along with the song. So that's definitely something that is really good with it as well. So, you know, all in all, you know, this song is a very 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 solid song for for Halo. I really really do enjoy it. Of course, I don't think it's like a groundbreaking amazing song like oh this is going to be just like absolutely just killing it on the music charts and stuff like that. It's not that amazing, but it still is a very very solid and enjoyable song. And that's really the only thing that anyone could really ask or hope for when it comes to a brand new release. So that's what I got to say about this song. I want to know what you guys think about it down in the comment box below. Do not do not be afraid to share whatever it is that you think, whether you like this song or not, because I want to hear what everyone has got to say, no matter what it is that they think, because we're trying to build a community here that is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if you're interested in joining that community, click the subscribe button down below. And of course, click on the bell icon down there as well so that you can turn on notifications to make sure that you do not miss a single video. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.